And welcome to a special edition of the Panther Show. We're here for a conversation with two of the newest Pitt Panthers, Jorge and Guillermo Diaz Graham. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. I, I appreciate it. And I got to say, my first question right off the bat is probably the dumbest question. It's probably a question you get all the time. You know what it's going to be, right? Yeah. Who's who? How do we tell you apart? All right. So I'm Jorge, and that's Guillermo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have the earpiece or not? Yeah. He has an earpiece here. Yeah, right. but the thing here is time. With time, yeah. people get okay. used to us and okay. people start telling us apart. I asked, I asked somebody, I forget who it was. I was like, well, how can you tell them apart? They said, well, they have different shoes. You guys have your own oh, preference. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Shoe. yeah. Okay, and then what um, What number are you guys going to wear? Like, we, we could do that, too, right? Like, I got a 25. Yeah, 25. 31. Jorge is 31, yeah. 31, okay, all right. We'll, we'll have to write that down. Jorge is 31, Guillermo yeah. is 25. What, uh, I was thinking about this today, like, how often do you guys, and maybe you don't do it very often, but, you know, one-on-one -on, -one on the court, you know, do, do, you, do you guys go one-on-one -on -one very often? If you do, you can ask, yeah. you can ask Coach Kepo. Uh -huh. JC, everyone. We played one on ones yesterday and Wednesday. Two out right now. Here at the two out for me. No, Five right. one. That's zero. not usual. Like I used to win every time. Yeah. But right now we're playing just with one dribble, so he's better at it. But when it's like off dribble, whatever you want, I always win. Oh, uh, so, okay. Okay. So that that's how we got the advantage. That's uh, yeah. okay. That's okay. All right. Well, I thought it'd be um, interesting. I mean, you guys know each other better than anybody, right? So, Jorge, yeah. give, give me the scouting report on, on Guillermo. What, what does he do well? What, what's kind of his strengths? What's he going to bring to the team this year? I mean, he's a great passer for sure. He passed the ball like, beautiful. He knows where, where to pass the ball. He knows who's open. And that's, a, like, that's very important for our team. And then he can shoot the ball. Not, not like me, but he can shoot the ball. <laughs> and, yeah, I think, like, he's very smart for the game. Like, you know, what he's playing, and, yeah. That's a, I appreciate your words. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you have anything to correct or, or change there, Guillermo, or, or is, did he hit all the important points? I think, yeah. yeah. I think he did a good job. Yeah. Maybe I disagree on the who should better. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you guys ever have like a three-point shooting competition? Like, just go out and start draining them and see who can hit the most in like thirty seconds or something. Mm. Oh, we never no. done that. No, no you never. should. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys should do, like get, 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 should do that. We should do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get back to us. Let us know the results. But <laughs> all right, Guillermo, same same thing for you. Then, what, what's the scouting report on Jorge? What does he do well? Uh, what's he going to bring to the team? Mm. I think the um, best thing for him is like he's a scorer. I don't know how he does it, but he's always making buckets. Uh, he got that instinct that um, he knows when he's open to shoot the ball. Uh, he can have a hand here. If he's feeling too, he's going to make it. He's going to shoot it. He's going to make it. And I think it's, it's really difficult to, to stop him because um, he can shoot the ball in your face, but he, can, he has a good handle, so he can get from outside to the paint. And... Yeah, he's a scorer. Yeah. Yes. Now we'll uh, we'll talk about basketball in a second, but I'm kind of curious. You know, how's this been? You guys have been in Pittsburgh for what a couple of weeks now, maybe yeah, two, um, three weeks. Two, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Yeah. All right. What what's that experience been like? Just sort of you know, just adjusting to living in the city. How, how have you guys found it so far? Right now, I'm thankful we're in summertime, <laughs> and it's been good in here. It's been sunny. Yeah. I love sun, so. <laughs> Yeah, right now it's been good. You guys didn't. Yeah. You guys didn't visit in the winter, did you? No, no we visited in no. April. So. When we visited, it was like, how, how, how it was hot in here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We we just saying that um, since we came here, it's always sunny outside. I think yeah. we bring that from the islands. Yeah, we bring That's the right. energy. That's we bring right. the energy for the sun. I think also, um, uh, Oakland is mm. very similar to to our city back yeah. back home. Oh yeah. Yeah, like not too big, not too little. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you can walk everywhere, and you have a lot of places to eat, to to buy things. So I think it's like a big fact for us, and it's making everything easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, you lived in Florida for a little bit, but I was going to ask you about the food. I mean, you know, in Florida, you get a chance to, I guess, get accustomed to American food. But I mean, is there anything? So, like, yeah, you found the, so thing, I know. the thing about Florida is they like spicy food a lot. <laughs> and I do not like spicy food. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, um, Florida food was good. Yeah. But here we we're lucky we got the Chipotle <laughs> just like two minutes away from from our apartment, so each dinner is too bold. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was going to ask you if you found any sort of authentic Spanish food, but you're eating at Chipotle all the time. Well, I think no. I think it was Mike. Right? I think, yeah. yeah, they gave us some some places to go, but it's looking slow right now. We don't have a car, so yeah. <laughs> we need a ride, you know? So it's, right, it's, it's, right. It's yeah. I got you. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's kind of go back. Um, you know, take me back to growing up in, in Canary Islands, you know, playing European basketball. I mean, what what was the basketball scene like where you guys grew up and, and you know, how did you kind of come up in hoops? So, yeah, Canary Islands is not a big place. So basketball level, let's say that it's not the best one. Um, but we were pretty lucky that uh, all our coaches were really good. Um, since we're little, um, we have been practiced on the right, right stuff. Um, European basketball is way different to American basketball. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think growing up in the islands, growing up in the Spain, playing basketball gives you that um, um, understanding of basketball. Yeah. And I feel that's one of one of um, our good things is um, how we understand basketball, how we understand offense, how we understand defense too, um, and I think that's a pretty good thing we have. Mm-hmm. Were you yeah, guys always? Think, oh, sorry, go ahead. Pardon. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I was saying that. Uh, I think uh, a big difference between USA and Spain or usually Europe is that uh, in the USA the work is focused on. Uh, skills, individual skills, but in Europe it's more like as as a team skills. Like you know, playing defense as a team, playing offense as a team. Uh, know where where to be when you play in defense. Uh, know how to to move when you play in offense. So that's like I think I don't I I don't think they they practice here in USA, and I think that that was what makes our us different from other players. Sure. Uh, Guillermo, you said, you know, from the time you guys were little, you're obviously not very little now. What, when did you guys, I mean, have you, were you always like bigger kids? Like when did you really kind of hit a growth spurt? And so bring up- we've been growing all life like this. Yeah. <laughs> we've been always the tall kids, always uh, in class, one feet taller than everyone. <laughs> so yeah, we used to be the, the tall ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's been. We never get a, a, a like a grow up. Uh, yeah. We were we just been growing. Yeah. You're always always bigger. Always. Yeah, bigger I think kid. we already stopped. Uh, I don't think so. I think yeah, it's been some up. years. I'm like just seven foot. Nah, <laughs> but mm-hmm. yeah, I think we we still growing a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Or hey, who's who's taller? Are you guys both? He's taller. Yeah, he's taller. He's taller. He's I'm taller. He says he's seven feet, so I'm six eleven. Okay. I don't say it. It's just when yeah, I get seven feet. Yeah. When they get my my height, it's just it just says seven feet. I don't say it. It's just science uh, say it. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. So then, what year did you guys graduate high school? Do you remember? So yeah, we graduated in in high school in Spain. I think it was twenty twenty one. Oh, you say when or where? No, what when? year? Yeah, when? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I think it was twenty twenty one or twenty twenty one. Yeah, we did the postgrad year, so we graduate, we did a year, and now we're here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What would you know, Jorge? Did you guys have opportunities to make like coming out of high school? Like, were you always just sort of set on the postgrad year, or how did you kind of end up deciding to go to to IMG? Mm, no, at first uh, we were thinking about going to college, like that, that, but because of COVID, uh, recruitment was not good in like, international recruitment was not good. Okay. So. We didn't have much offers. We didn't. We didn't have much. Yeah, we have like two, two of them. Nah, coming out of high school, we really have nothing. 
just we had I played Zoom. that uh, national oh, team yeah. in summer mm -hmm. and it, it was good for me. I did good. Oh. So I, I received some offers from some college, but it was everything so quick that I didn't want that, to make that yeah, step that because it was literally, um, I got the summer um, national team and I had to be in college in two weeks. Hmm. And I wasn't feeling ready to get in college yet. And we had the IMG uh, opportunity. Yeah. And of course, IMG is, is great to be there. Right. And we made a decision. And so far, it's been good. What it was, was, it all, was it always like not even a question that you guys would go together to, to a place? I mean, was that always just a sure thing? You mean for post grad year or for this year? To, to college, that wherever you went, like you would both. College? Go. Yeah. At first, mm, we said like we didn't care if we weren't like separated or together. But lately, we realized that uh, together we were better. Just not only on the court, but off the court too. Mm -hmm. Because being far away from home is, is hard. But by having your brother, your twin brother with you, like makes it like 10 times easier. So I think that I mean, was a big fight. I was, I was ready to leave this guy here and be my own way. But um, we had a pitch opportunity. Um, Coach Otto did a good job uh, showing us that together we were great. Yeah. And we you made a decision right. to stay together. Right. Yeah. When did uh, like when did pick get involved and like how did that kind of come about? You know what I mean? Like when did they first start showing interest in you and and how did yeah. that relationship sort of build? I think it was late in the year or mid season. I don't know. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I remember just um, we play a, a game in Florida and after the game, uh, Tio came to us. He started talking to us and we met like. Two, two days uh, later and we talked about you know we had the offer he he explained me uh, how how he saw us playing how he saw our connection how we play together so i think since the first time i i listened to him i i i knew that you know he was he was saying like things that are true so funny thing here is that the first time <laughs> the coach to come to, to see us, uh, we were playing um, um, a game away. Oh yeah. And he came to the place to see us mm -hmm. and we have to leave because the bus was leaving. So he told us, hey, I'm gonna be in IMG at five more or less mm -hmm. and in the gym because I want to see another kid on the um, yeah, high team or something. Yeah. Uh, be there so we can talk. <laughs> when I get to my room, I was so tired that I was like, ain't no way I'm going. So this guy was like, hey, we have to go, we have to go, let's go, let's go. And uh, um, I was so tired, I said, hey, tell him, please, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm in bed, I'm really sick. And you go. And he was like, <laughs> and he, yeah, and he I went and yeah. yeah. But you guys still like Jorge, you convinced him to go. Like he you guys I both. tried to convince him, like he was in like in bed. He was I was sleeping. in bed, I was ready to die. I was so, ready to pass out. Um, we were late. Like I think we met at we 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 shouldn't met at five and it was like six. So we were late. No, it was five thirty. And I was rushing him, was like, like let's go, let's go, we're gonna be late, he's gonna leave us. And I knew like I knew Pete was important for us. So I had I had to go. I didn't. So I just went and I met him, and he didn't went. So I said, "He's sick." I was kind of sick. I was tired, sick. You know, tired. <laughs> you know, that time you're tired that you feel like you were really sick. So I was feeling like that. <laughs> so then you guys, uh, you end up coming up to to visit, and um, you know what 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 really kind of sold you on Pitt? What made you feel like that was definitely the one uh, that you wanted to go to? In the visit, you mean? Yeah, I mean, just like when you ultimately yeah. decided to commit, you know, what what really kind of sold you on fit? I think it was everything in general. Like everything um, was making good points on the checklist. Yeah. Everything was looking good. Uh, we saw no no bad things. Um, they got all covered. Um, I mean, basketball, 
they have the strength coach, nutritionist, um, facilities, facilities. Yeah. Then in academics, they have Mike. That's been great to us. Yeah. Like this these first weeks were um, because what we are internationals in summer, we have to take twelve credits, so we have to. Um, it's hard, mm -hmm. and I think that without Mike, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah it would be like impossible for us. Yeah. So I think. And I think Everything also the like the city, as I told you, is very similar to back home. So like we we kind of like it. The people too, people here, yeah, is, people here. They nice. love pizza. They love sports. Yeah, fandom. Yeah. Yesterday we went to um um pizza place, and JC <laughs> um um drive us there, and we make our own pizzas. Like yeah. this a uh, um a really good place. I was in Piazza Piazza yeah. Rico. Piazza, Piazza Tala Rico. Yeah. Oh, right, right. And people is like family for 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 Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. So yeah, it's great to see that. Do you guys uh I, I mean I gotta think as you're walking around campus, I mean you yeah, probably stand out a little bit, right? I mean yeah. you're the two yeah, like yeah, tallest yeah, twins in that. Pittsburgh. Right. Yeah. I mean, have yeah. people been like, hey, are you guys like here? Are people coming yeah, up to you on the yeah. street? They stop you, they ask you if you play. And <laughs> If you play a bit, then we say yes. And they always say, I, I, I'm going to see you next, like this season. I'm going to come watch you. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, okay. Well, it's a, a few times, like, uh, I think, Jorge, you said it a couple of times as you've been talking about, you know, you guys working together well on the court and that Coach O'Toole saw you guys together on the court. I mean, how does that, like, how does it work when you guys play together? I mean, you, I mean you're both like 6'11", 7 feet tall. I mean, you could both shoot him. It seems like you have similar skill sets. How do you guys kind of mesh when you're together on the court? Yeah, we've we played all our life together, so we kind of used to uh, like we know uh, some moves. Like they are our moves. Like we always do it, and I don't know it's like that's the feeling with him in the in the court. And then um, when people say we are similar. We we are, we are not similar at all. Like it's more of a let's say power forward. He likes a little bit more play inside, and I'm more like a three, let's say. So yeah, we are different in that aspect, and yeah, mm. we're not similar. <laughs> yeah, not like similar. When we play together, I know what he's thinking to do <laughs> before he did already knows. So. Um, Last time we played together, good was on a on a game against Combined Academy mm -hmm. last game on the on the championships, and he was having the day. He was hitting everything, so my work was just hey, uh, look look for him, <laughs> yeah, uh, setting the screen for him so he can shoot the ball. He can hit got a, a balls in his hand, and I know why he's thinking, where is he going, and just because of that um, European style of basketball. Um, mm -hmm. We are used to do a lot of cuts, back cuts, and a lot of movement without ball. And that's a really good thing. And I, I, I'm a good passer, so yeah. he's always doing back cuts or pass the ball and cut. So yeah, um, having a guy who knows how, yeah. how to play and can feed you. So it's good. Yeah, that's what I like about him. Like he passed me the ball, so <laughs> that's very important. <laughs> It's always a good way. Yeah, yeah, it's always a good way to make make friends uh, on on the team. <laughs> yeah. you, you pass a lot. So I mean, like when you guys, you know, you've been able to do some workouts with the, you know, the rest of the team, and and certainly with the other forwards. You guys are both four or five inches taller than John Hughley, but yeah. Yeah. he's got some weight on you too. What you know? Yeah. How was the first like workouts with him gone? Have you have you had a little bit of physical play a little bit? I mean, like how's yeah. it been for working with John so far? Yeah. I mean, Tim O'Toole makes sure that um, you're getting hit on practice. <laughs> he makes sure. He got the pad yeah. and he's destroying the pad in your head. <laughs> so he makes sure there's contact on on, yeah. on practices. And when I see Big John do it, it's just like the pad is hitting him and the pad is like, doing nothing on him. He's yeah. just going straight. Then we are trying to do it and we get moved. So, yeah, I think like mm, uh, T.O. is making a good work because he's trying to work us like let's say perimeter players so that's uh, good for Jon and then he also work us to be inside players like Jon so it's good for us so I think it's like that mix uh, good mix for for everyone mm -hmm. 
All right, and then the last thing, I mean, just kind of what are your expectations for this season, for what you guys, you know, your role, either from what the coaches have told you or just kind of what you feel like you'll be able to do, you know, the, each of you, what you feel like you'll be able to do for the team this season? I know we really, really don't know right now because um, the whole team is not here uh, yet and we, uh, we don't have that conversation yet with coach. But right now we just focus on – and do the workouts, get better, and just be there for the team. Whatever they need, uh, we're going to be there, and we're going to try to do our best. Uh, yeah. 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 Pretty much. yeah. yeah right. It's going to be the first year. It's going to be, like, tough to play uh, on ACC. Uh, but, yeah, we, we're going to do our best. Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. All right, guys. Well, hey, I can't thank you enough for, hey, uh, Guillermo, it's been a lot of fun to um, chat with you and get to know you a little bit. I know the Pitt fans are going to enjoy hearing it as well. So good luck the rest of the summer with the workouts and classes, and we'll we'll see you this fall, all right? All right. Thank yes, you sir. so much. Thank you so yeah. much.